What is the correct size container to use for off-grid hydroponics? Hey, I'm Mike. And this is Tichi. We are here once again to answer your questions about easy DIY hydroponics. Ready? Let's go! A lot of plants can grow just fine in a nutrient solution. No soil needed. All plants are different though. Can you just use any container you like? I have experimented with several different sized containers for many years. Although off-grid hydroponics is relatively simple, the size of the container you use is very important. When I saw how long a plant could last in a small container, I figured a large container would be awesome. One of my experiments was with 4-inch PVC pipe. Instead of leaving it horizontal, I capped off the end and turned it vertical. I found that a coffee container fit perfect inside the 4 inches pipe. Now, instead of six plants sharing the nutrients, there would only be one plant and I could stack these close together if I made many of them. I sprouted and transplanted all the plants the same way I usually do. I use the same hydroponic nutrients at the same ratio as all my other plants. Most plants that I experimented with in these containers did well for the first few weeks. After the first month, most of the plants suffered. Some plants did better than others even though they all did good in the horizontal pipe. This did not seem to work with most of my plants. Can you guess what the problem was? My guess was the size of the container. This puzzled me at first because plants did well in this large container. The more water there is, the cooler it stays and it makes for longer intervals between refilling. On the other hand, some plants, like my lettuce, do well in shallow containers like my downspouts. So, it is my thinking that when considering the size of the container to grow your hydroponic plants in, you should also consider the roots of the plants. Some plants, like lettuces and spinach, have shallow root systems. Their roots do not go very deep especially if they are fast maturing and not very big where they would need an extensive root system for support. Other plants, like tomatoes and peas, have deep root systems. They grow tall and need to go deep for nutrients and also for stability. Even though we are not growing in soil, we have to respect the fact that this is how plants are used to growing throughout the ages. In off-grid, or cracky, hydroponics, although you need an airspace to let the air roots grow, you also need a large amount of regular roots to absorb water and nutrients. In my experiment with the vertical pipes, the plants did well for the first few weeks while the water level was high. As it dropped, the roots of the plants could not keep up with the lower level of nutrients. Plants with shallow root systems could not go deep enough to get the water. If the roots cannot get down to the nutrients by the time it is ready to harvest, you could end up wasting a lot of nutrients too. So, even though I say that a larger container is better because it helps keep the water cool, you still need to consider the depth of the container in relation to the type of plants you are going to grow. For shallow rooted plants like lettuce, I like using my downspouts or larger containers that are no more than 6 to 8 inches deep. I think it is pretty obvious that a container that is too small will not work. You will end up refilling often. The water can warm up quick and the plant can get root bound. Just getting a larger container also may not work because of the depth and the root system of the plants you choose to grow. Like Goldilocks, it has to be just right. When starting out with off-grid hydroponics, research the types of plants you want to grow. Google it and see what type of root system it has. This will give you an idea or starting point at which to begin your gardening. As with everything else, you will have to experiment and find what works best for you and your plants in the area that you live. It is a fun process, and after you figure it out, you will know for future grows. 
So, even though container size is very important, you only have to figure it out once for each type of plant. All in all, DIY hydroponics is very simple and just about anyone can learn to grow some of their own food. doing on my new griddle. Kitty, what are you doing under there? Don't forget to share this with your friends like you always do. Together, we are making the world a better place. Until next time, live to inspire, keep on growing, and be the change.